Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Etta. Thank you so much for stopping by to see the wax bars that I picked up in the party that I had closed out. I broke it up into two parts because I had so many warmers that I didn't want to do the wax bars and the warmer on the same video. It would have made it way too long. So I did the warmers as part one and that would have uploaded on Friday 5 a.m. and I'm doing the wax bars now and I'm going to upload this for Sunday 3 p.m. so my my usual schedule that I try to keep Friday 5 a.m. and Sunday 3 p.m. and then if I have anything in between I might try to you know put it on Saturday or something like that I don't at the moment I don't have anything extra um, so I'm going to jump in and hold it out of the box I had to kind of dig under the empty warmer boxes to get the there was two oh gosh it's kind of heavy two mylar bags with wax of what I ordered um, and one of the things you'll be able to tell that I ordered was the collection for the holiday because here's the little bag that you get if you order the collection so that's that. Uh, I'm gonna hit the mute button real quick because I want to open up the Mylar bags and just pull everything out and that way I can go through all of it with you instead of making a ton of noise with the Mylar bags. Hold on for me one second. Okay, I venture to guess, based on all the wax bars that I just pulled out, um, of the warmers that I had gotten, there were only three that were available as like the bundles. Were there? Actually, there might have been four. I'm not sure how I did it. Um, I may have a six pack in here. I don't know, but it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 bars. Oh, one of them would have been the Oh my goodness, one of them would have been the holiday collection. <laughs> so let me find that. And in the holiday, one, two, three, four, five. Holiday collection would have been five, so that leaves me 10. I don't know, maybe one of them is licensed and I couldn't do it as part of a bundle uh, without doing a bundle of license. And I'm positive I did, didn't do that. So I kind of pulled them all out together. So there may be multiples of some of these. I'm trying to see. Okay, that looks like it's the... Yeah, there's a couple of multiples. Ah, there was one licensed in there. I think this is one of the one. Okay, I might as well just show you which ones I got. Um, may I say one, two, three, four, five? Which one did I miss? That's not that. Not that one. Ah, this one here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the ones that I got as part of the bundles with the warmers because there were they would have been bars that are currently available. So I'm just gonna show you that. I picked up a couple of them in multiples, but the ones that I did not pick up in multiples are, I got one dashing because I wanted, this one was my favorite on Cole Sniff. So I wanted to pick up one more in case I wanted to use more than one bar in the dining room or if I just loved it so much after warming it that I wanted to do it again soon thereafter. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and get one more of that since I was getting some bundles or, you know, bundling with my warmers. I picked up one Blackberry Spice. That was one that I had put in my club and I was surprised that I had not taken it out, not because I thought I should have, but because I thought I had. So I did like Blackberry Spice last year. So I picked up one more of those. 
And I said I was going to give this one another shot. It did not do all that well for me the first time in terms of throw. I like the scent, but the throw was not really up to what I like, up to up to my standards. Like I have standards about wax. I guess maybe I do, right? Because we have certain things that we like or we don't like. And um, I generally want a, a certain number in my brain of how big of a throw it has. So I guess, yeah, I guess I do have some standards. <laughs> Let's hope, right? Uh, anyways, I picked up one golden garland and gonna give that one a try again. Then there was three cents that I picked two up and I kind of mentioned them, I think, or at least, at least this one I mentioned in a video. I got two of white pumpkin and driftwood that one was really good. It performed really well for me and I thoroughly enjoyed the scent. Then I had done this one as part of a mix a while ago. I may have to go look through my Instagram to see if that's where I posted about it or if it was in an empties. I don't even know now what I mixed it with, but <laughs> I know it was really good and I got more of it. I have two bars. I want to say I'm, I, I, not mixed, but did in the same room with white pumpkin and driftwood, I think is what it was. Um, so I got two more bars of white amber antique. I'm gonna like that one. And this one I have not tried, but I thought it smelled so good on cold. And I have, I had an idea of what I, you know, one or two ideas of what I wanted to mix it with. So I was like, let me let me just get two of that one also, and that is Palo Santo and Cinnamon. So that's that. And then the one license bar that I picked up, maybe you can guess. Evil Queen's Just One Bite. She went directly into my club and I said, let me go ahead and pick one up in this order. I just love this scent. It does not smell as strong right now as it usually does to me. I remember, oh, okay, the bottom does. The bottom smells fantastic. I still remember on, I think it was an empties video. This would have been a while back, a very long while back possibly when this first came out. Now I got like wax underneath my nail. <laughs> uh, I remember mentioning that I had worn this in the room above the garage, which directionally speaking would be in that direction at the end of the hallway upstairs. And it's not like a super duper long hallway, but it's a decent length hallway. Um, because you got to come from that area, then there would be like what the stairs to come down to the mud room. Then you'd have basically this room. So you'd have the mud room area, this area, and then right there would be the stairs. So when I did it in that room, the scent traveled all the way down the hallway and down the stairs because I remember I could smell it at the front door. That's how that's how much it threw. So I really, really, really love the scent. It's an apple scent. I love apple scents. So I'm very happy to put that back in my club. All right, then, oh man, the computer's, computer went dark on me. All right, here are the five bars for the holiday collection that come with the bag. Don't know if I'll be using the bag for anything, but you know, it's nice to have just in case. You never know. Well, it says Scentsy. It'd be kind of weird to give someone a Christmas gift in a bag that says Scentsy unless it has Scentsy stuff in it. Maybe that's the intention, huh? <laughs> All right, so let's see if I can go in order of what's on the listing for scents. Ah. All right, the first one is Cherry's Jubilee. I don't think I've ever had, have I ever had that dessert? I don't know, and I love dessert. All right, Cherry's Jubilee, make room for dessert. Black cherry, oh, hey, Zena. Black cherry simmered with raspberry and a refreshing burst of zesty lemon. Okay, I like zesty lemon. Let's see. Wow, the uh, top, nothing. 
Let's see. These could be fresh poured. I don't know. Ooh, zesty lemon and cherry. <laughs> like that. Wow. I mean, night and day from the top to the bottom. If you only smelled the top, you'd be like, well, that's a dud. Maybe if I rubbed it, but I don't feel like rubbing it. I, I just want to smell it. Wow. And obviously that, that um, raspberry has to be coming out because I smell the black cherry and I smell the zesty lemon and then I smell something else. So I'm guessing that's the raspberry. Nice, vibrant, kind of fruity scent for the holiday season, which, you know, that to me, that seems perfect for those of us that live in the southern region where it's still pretty warm and sometimes December can be warm. So this might be <laughs> this might be something really good for us that can, you know, won't be that super heavy kind of scent that is too much when it's hot. Okay, I got to move on to the next thing or I'm never going to finish. The next one is Cranberry Candy Cane. That one, the, the name does not appeal to me. I don't always like cranberry. It depends on the cranberry. It says, in a twist on a traditional treat, fresh cranberries and pomegranate are swirled with peppermint sticks. It doesn't sound like it would go all that well. And I have purposely not watched anybody's holiday bar uh, sniff videos, first sniff videos. Um, I don't know. They might even have some that have reviews. I haven't watched any of those because I didn't want it to interfere with maybe what I think when I smell it. So I was like, nope, I'm not going to watch any of those. So sorry. I'll, I'll get to them eventually. On the top, I get a light peppermint stick note. Again, the Cherry's Jubilee, I got nothing on the top. So I'm not, I'm not too surprised by that. Plus, I just pulled these out of the Mylar bag. So... Okay, I've said many times that on cold, I've had opposite reactions, right? I've thought something smelled really, really good on cold. And uh, I'll give you an example. What was the scent, the brick last holiday? Cherry, sweet cherry, I don't know. I can't even think, but I thought it smelled so good on cold and I did not like it on warm. There was a note in there that came out and I just didn't like it. And I've smelled scents that I thought smelled horrible on cold and I absolutely loved it on warm. Uh, an example of that would be strawberry and rock melon. I thought it was gross on cold and it became a favorite on warm. So you just never know. but. All that to say that, uh, yeah, this would be in the strawberry and rock melon category right now. I, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like on cold the way the peppermint mixes with the cranberry and pomegranate. It, it just, it just doesn't go for me. I feel like the cranberry pomegranate combination, because I can't really decipher one over the other. I can't. Um, to me, that that scent smells nice, and I like minty scents. I feel like the peppermint smells nice. I just, cold sniff, I don't like the way they blend. I don't like the way they mix. I don't feel like they go together. But I may change my mind on warm, or I may not. Time will tell. The next one is Rum Pum Plum. I like the name of that one. And they got the little drums. Makes you think of the little drummer boy. So sweet plum jam. Let's hope it's sweet. I, t I tend to not like it when it's not sweet. When I get it as a tart plum, I usually don't like it. So sweet plum jam and vanilla sugar in a flaky buttery crust will have you singing in a delicious singing a delicious melody. I'm 
barely get anything from the top, but it's not it's not giving me the vibe that it's going to be a tart plum. I get the feeling that it's going to be a rich plum. Goodness, this one's even harder to get up. Or a combination thereof. <clears throat> I feel like I'm getting some of the crust. When I first smelled it, the plum was kind of like half and half, some sweet, but some tart. And I'm getting a little more, almost like as it's starting to combine a little bit, maybe I'm getting more of like a rich scent. Um, It's, it's actually smelling a little bit better. And I definitely feel like I'm getting the crust, although it doesn't... Well, yeah, yeah, I think it's the crust. I'm not getting so much buttery, but I feel like I'm getting the bakery part, not just plum. The longer I smell it, actually, the better it's smelling. So maybe it just kind of needed to air, for, air out a little bit for a second. Okay, that's actually quite promising. All right. Not bad. The next one is Sleigh Ride. And Sleigh Ride says, <clears throat> excuse me, journey through the snow amid crisp air, fallen fur needle, and a touch of tart cranberry. All right, let's see. Because the tart cranberry with the fur needle may be very good. Let's see. All of them are so super super light on the top but the bottom tends to be quite potent but the very tiny softness I get oh my gosh I can't even and I think I broke it yep I sure did <laughs> I sliced it right there across the all right I guess I'll try to pull it out then oh my gosh I might actually have to break this clam altogether just to get it out that's how bad how stuck it is all right, I got the bottom three out at least. All right. Oh, I like that. Um, something about it, well, it reminds me of Fraser fur, obviously. It, well, not I shouldn't say obviously, but in my brain, I'm thinking obviously it reminds me of Fraser fur. Um, probably because it says fur needle. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I love a very snowy spruce. I get kind of this, almost this little sweetness to it. And there's something kind of sweet to me about Fraser fir. And I, I kind of get that in here. And then I know that the cranberry is there. It's To me, it's not a distinct cranberry. It's just something that's blending really, really well with the fir needle. And it's not even really coming across across very tart. Uh, journey through the snow amid crisp air. Maybe, maybe I'm warm. Right now, I'm really just getting the, f the fur needle, which to me is coming across as Fraser fur with a nice kind of fruit that's not very pronounced and blending really well with the Fraser fir, which I love to mix Fraser fir with fruit, right? Whether it be cranberry or an orange or something like that. So I'm pleased with that one. And the last one in the five pack is vanilla barnwood. So let's see, vanilla barnwood. Barnwood covered with creamy vanilla and rich amber conjure a picturesque snow-covered countryside. Okay, the pictures in my mind is very pretty. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know why I'm bothering to smell this all. <laughs> I can't smell it. Oh, thank you, at least you didn't break. All right, let me, let me. Air it for a few seconds. Mm. 
There's something weird about this. Maybe maybe it's the barn wood. Because uh, I can't imagine. Creamy vanilla, rich amber. Can't. Uh, I'm thinking maybe uh, the barn wood. There's something about the barn wood that's a little... Mixing, I think, with the rich amber. It's a little iffy. It may be great, but it seems a little iffy right now. It's probably going to be one of those that after our warm, it's going to be great because it is, again, kind of like the other one. As it sits open for a few seconds, right? Now, like, I aired it, but almost like the longer I let it sit, the better it keeps getting. Okay, we'll see. I don't know. It's, it's kind of 50-50 for me right now. We'll see. All right. Then the last two things I got... Uh, where are the where are the items? Okay, one of them is the pink awareness. So I got the pink awareness, and that also has four cents in it. And I need to hurry up. I'm already at twenty minutes, twenty one actually. Okay, this one is uh, first one is I pink I can. I Pink I Can says a lively mix of coconut water, tropical stone fruit, and hibiscus nectar encourages positivity. The notes sound perfect to me. It actually reminds me of um, Aloha Orchid when I read that. That's what it's reminding me of is Aloha Orchid. Although, did a, yeah, because Aloha Orchid was the one that we said kind of smelled like um, hibiscus pineapple. Or at least that's what it reminded many of us of. Ooh, I can smell that one a little bit more on the top, and it smells really good. Ooh, very strong on the bottom. I feel like all of these need to air out. <laughs> My goodness. Although if they're as strong in the warmers as I feel like they are on the bottom, that's a good thing. All right, first sniff smells good. Not um, not as great as I was thinking. You'll get a better review from me when I actually have it warmed and I can tell you right out, yes, I loved it on warm or no, it had something in it that I didn't really like. Again, this is just initial first impressions based on sniffing cold and that can all go right out the window after I warm it. All right, the next one is Pink Spreads Hope. And Pink Spreads Hope says, Hope blooms in a bouquet of pink parfait rose and violet accented with leafy greens. Okay, I, I definitely like leafy greens, but let's see about the rest. Especially, well, you'd think I would because I say I always like to mix greens with florals. So we'll see. Yeah I, I, yeah, I think I should stop trying to smell the top. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Okay. This does not seem like something for fall winter. The rose is giving it a slight powdery note. Very slight, but it's, I do smell it. But I tell you what, the, the addition, I don't know what pink parfait rose is supposed to be, but the combination of rose and violet, and I'm not getting a strong leafy greens at all. Um, it smells really, really good on cold. And I don't get that strong rose scent that can sometimes just come across as just this annoyingly sweet scent. I'm not getting that. Wow, okay, so far, I love that one. That one's really good for me. The next one is Positively Pink. And Positively Pink says, raspberry and vanilla balance rich sandalwood in a soothing blend with a touch of sweetness. Okay, so I'm not gonna even try the top. <laughs> not even gonna try. Going straight for the bottom. Oh my gosh. These are really in there tight. 
Wow. Um, I'm definitely getting raspberry and sandalwood. And probably vanilla. I kind of think I'm getting vanilla. On the bottom, it seems like it will throw big time. I like that. I don't know which one I like more, the, the floral one or this one. Again, I don't feel like these are fall winter kind of scents, so pro I probably would hold on to them till like February. Um, these actually seem like they would have been great. Uh, I know, I think, is it October is supposed to be breast cancer awareness and it does have the little symbols, but um, this almost seems like it would have been a great Valentine's collection. I will say this one probably has the richer scent, like it could carry into fall, winter. I don't know. It's just the notes themselves don't seem like fall, winter kind of scents to me. But very, very nice. And it seems like it's going to be really strong. And then the last one in the four pack collection is Turn Up the Pink. Turn it up, turn it up. Let's hope it's strong. Turn it up. Sparkling citrus. Love that. Again, see, sparkling citrus. You think, I think spring or summer. Maybe spring. Sparkling citrus adds an uplifting flourish to gardenia blossom and rosewood. Ooh, rosewood. Ooh. I've had uh, oils from Sensi that had, I can't remember what it was called, but it had ro something rosewood or something like that. I don't know what the first word was, but gorgeous gorgeous oil all right start at the bottom again so we're looking for a sparkling citrus gardenia blossom and rosewood it's gotta be another one that needs to air i almost feel like here it might be the rosewood that's kind of going up my nose and it's like whoo almost in that Super duper strength when you first open it, almost, almost pungent. Like the wood's almost like the pungent, pungent kind of scent. And I'm getting the sparkling citrus. I'm definitely getting the gardenia. And that, that rosewood is coming across kind of pungent. I don't know about the rosewood in this thing. It may, it may do beautifully on warm. This is going to be one of those iffies for me. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not super crazy about that rosewood smell in there. All right. So that's the pink awareness collection. Again, seems like, <clears throat> okay, I understand breast cancer awareness. They use pink. So pink awareness. Um, and it's in October, if I'm not mistaken. Um, <clears throat> so I understand that. It just, to me, it seems like a great Valentine's collection. So pink awareness. I always got to put my two cents in there. Nobody, nobody asked for it, but hey, I'm going to, I'm going to give it anyways. And then the last thing I picked up, I kind of kept trying to figure out, do I pick it up or don't I? Do I pick it up? Don't I? I did not pick up the Dumbo Circus Parade. I put it in my club, um, figuring, okay, I, I think I can wait for it. It's not really the time of the year for it anyway, so I'll just wait for it to come in my club. But I'm super happy that Dumbo Circus Parade finally came back so that I could put it back in my club. Hopefully, I won't take it out again. But I did pick up the brick. I really hope I like it because a brick is a lot to get through. So I got the brick of Dumbo soar high through the sky. I don't know. We'll see. Dumbo soar high through the sky says soar high above the clouds where thrills and delights abound with apple, melon, magnolia, and candied fruit. I'm good with apple. Depending on which melon, I'm not huge water. I'm not a huge watermelon fan, but I do like melon, right? Like do we or don't we is like one of my favorites in terms of fruit, that and apple, right? Um, so 
that depends on what melon it is. Magnolia, yeah, fruity, fruity florals I tend to like. And then candied fruit, hopefully that's just for sweetness purposes. Let's see, oh my goodness, that's tight. All right, so nice vibrant yellow, kind of like Dumbo. I don't really think I need the screen anymore. Let's see, oh, it's broken right, right down the middle. I can kind of smell that one. Better than any of the other ones that I tried to smell. And since this is already like, you know, as if I had scored it right down the middle this way, I'm gonna try to pull out the bottom half. Oh, and now I just broke the bottom three. Okay. Let's see if I can get the bottom three out then. Oh, well, two of the three. I, this thing is ready to be chopped up now, now that I done broke it into a bunch of pieces. The bottom. I don't think I'm getting watermelon. Although maybe, maybe it is, it is sweet. Although it does say candied fruit. So the candied fruit's gonna add sweetness. I don't get like a distinct cantaloupe kind of scent. So the melon, uh, well, I mean, what do, you, what do we have? What's the uh, honeydew? I don't like honeydew. So hopefully it's not honeydew. It's diminishing the apple for me. The melon is definitely diminishing the apple on cold. Kind of making it very mellow. I personally don't feel like I'm getting any floral. It'll probably come out more on warm, although somebody else could very easily have given you their impression on the first sniffs and said, oh yeah, this is a fruity floral. I can smell the floral. <laughs> no, I don't. Although I, I tend to really like fruity floral, so. Maybe it's there. Ooh, as I really took in a breath, I felt like I got, I almost felt like I got some citrus. It's really hard to take those <clears throat> super deep breaths. I feel like I'm doing those exercises for your lungs. Okay, it's very, I would, I find it to be mild, um, but I will say, when you first get Dumbo and it needs, I find that it does well with the cure time, uh, unless it's one that you've just had for a long time. I find Dumbo not to be super strong when you smell it on cold, if it's fresh, but you let it sit for a good couple of months and then you pull out Dumbo, it smells much stronger and it performs really, really well. So maybe, this, this particular Dumbo soar high through the sky. Maybe it will do the same. It actually, the more, the more I feel like I'm smelling, you know, I actually think I like it. Yeah. The more I'm smelling. Okay. Now, just now I felt like I was getting some apple. Sometimes I wonder, you know, <laughs> sometimes I think we have to do the video with a first sniff and then do a, here's my one week sniff because it's probably gonna be different than the first sniff when I first pulled it out of the box. Completely different. Breaking news. Not really, just thought I'd interject here. Sorry to interrupt the original video. At least I'm, that's my attempt is to splice this inside the video. Not sure I'm technologically advanced enough to do that, but I'm gonna try. Anyways, I wanted to jump in here uh, and I figured I'd try a different spot. Although this spot has been in a video before, it's been a really long time um, and it was a different table here, but whatever. Anyways, I thought I'd try a different spot, interject so that it wouldn't look the same um, to tell you that one day later, I decided to go ahead and warm the Dumbo scent. So I put it in here in, the, this is the dining room. Um, I added warmers to this table. Originally, I just had the tiger eye and the original pumpkin, one on each side of my lantern thing. And um, my warmers came in. That video was out on Friday. 
and well, it's Thursday right now, but it'll be out tomorrow for me. So I put in some of my new warmers. Um, I added the one that's the October warmer of the month in here. I added one of my other warmers over there. I had the other one. So now there are 11 warmers in here. The two that you can't see behind the camera, which are the curve, um, I did not put any wax in those, but the other nine I did. So I used, remember, if you saw that part of the video already, I broke the uh, the brick. So I used the bottom three from the brick of the Dumbo Soar High Through the Sky, put it in this morning, I think it was like 7.15 in the morning, something like that. I know it was before work, so it was before 8 a.m. Uh, I think it was around 7.15 I put in, I tried to make the pieces small, but I still wound up using three. Of course, there were nine warmers. So um, I did put it in. I'd say that within like five to 10 minutes, I was starting to smell the scent. By the time it had been about an hour and a half, I could smell it in the sunroom, okay? So here, back here, that's the sunroom. Uh, I think Zena's laying on the sofa right now, on her sofa. Yep, she is. She's sleeping. Um, but this way is the kitchen. There's another door right there, and that's kind of in direct line to my desk where I work all day. So I'm coming to you at the end of the work day. I just turned off my computer, trying to relax, and I was like, let me go ahead and get this video, this little interjection done. It's going to be long. Huh? I better hurry up. So I put the uh, nine warmers, got, used three cubes for my brick. Within about an hour and a half, I could smell it at my desk. I didn't have anything going over there at my desk, um, but I could smell this, this scent over there, fill this area completely. So just before I did this, I went outside, took a walk to the mailbox because I wanted to see how nose blind I had gone to it after being in this all day. It is now about 4.30 p.m. And I'd say it's, very light at this point. I can still smell it, but it's very light. Again, th I think this is kind of fresh. It was super strong though, most of the day. Um, I'm wondering if it's going to be one of those that just takes a while to really, really cure, really build its scent, uh, but it is beautiful. I love it. I will definitely pick up another brick. It's probably gonna go in my club. It's very, very nice. It's a very creamy, fruity scent. I'm sure some people are gonna say it's a fruity floral. I personally don't really get too many florals when it's a fruity floral. I tend, my nose tends to pick up more of the fruit than anything else. So it's just very creamy fruit. The melon is delicious. Um, the combination, I think, of the candied fruit and the melon, and I forgot what the other note was. Um, almost the creaminess almost gives me a banana vibe it does not smell like banana i don't smell bananas but i think it's that creaminess is kind of making me feel like almost like a the smooth creaminess of a tropical drink and so i'm thinking i don't know why but i'm thinking banana but it's really really nice um just wanted to kind of give you a little heads up as to what i got on the first warming very next day it's, you know, it's about, I'd say it's about a three, level three at this point, you know, one to 10, 10 being strongest. Whereas this morning, given that I could smell it in at my desk within like an hour and a half, it was, it was easily a nine this morning. It's about a three now. I don't know if that's the way it's going to be forever or if just right now because this is pretty fresh. So just coming to you real quick. I say real quick, that wasn't quick. I uh, just wanted to come in, interrupt the video to tell you what I thought about this set. So continue on with the video. Thank you. But anyways, 34 minutes. I just don't know how to keep it short. I try. I really do. I'm so sorry. And I'm super glad I didn't mix this with the warmers. It really would have been a super long video. So I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out part two all the wax that I picked up in that party closeout. And 
I don't know. I'm trying to keep it short. So until next time, enjoy your sense, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.